Hello, IGDN members. John Arcadian here. All right, so I talked about and I provided a uh, document with some promotional website overview material. I want to give everybody at the IGDN a basic uh, how-to for getting set up with a good promotional website. Now, BZN Web Design is my day job. Um, it's where I work as a freelance web developer. Um, so I'm taking a lot of the stuff that I do here for clients and providing it to IGDN members as a basic sort of, you know, tutorial overview since uh, by and large game developers and designers tend to be jacks of all trades and also you know we, we know our budgets we don't often have the money to go hire a, a large web developer to go do everything for us so I want to give you the basic overview of everything all right the first thing that I want to talk about is the domain name all right domain name of course you know up here like bees and web design or encoded designs.com is what helps you find the actual website registering a domain name is a very important first step for what you need to do I register a lot through a company called Gandhi.net and they're one of the the best ones that out there uh, that I have found. Um, one of the reasons that I like them, and I'm going to use Silvervine Games as a example. It's an old company I used to be a part of, and I still maintain the web hosting. But one of the most important reasons I like it is because they let me set up the domain name but mark somebody else as the contact and owner. It is very important that you are listed as the legal owner of the domain name because that is what uh, uh, puts it under you and, and gives you legal ownership. Um, administrative, technical, billing, all these other contacts that are listed with this, um, those are fine. Those are just, you know, who gets notified of stuff. For many of my clients, I set myself up as the uh, technical contact and leave them as the actual owner. Um, and some places have skeevy practices. This is less common now than it used to be, but some places would mark themselves as the owner and then put you as the leaser, so it would be harder to migrate away from them. Um, those have been cracked down on by and large, but it still does happen. So it is important that you are the owner of the domain name. Another thing to know about the domain names is that domain name registration information is public. All this information is incredibly public out there. Um, you can go to I can who is search uh, and you can do a who is search on any domain name and find the information there. So let's put in silvervinegames.com and from the public aeroporto all right, from the public, it will tell you everything about that. So if you have your personal home address listed, um, it will show up there. So it's good to have a PO box for that. All right. Um, so once you have the domain name set up, uh, you can point it to the hosting. Now, I like to use Gandhi because their um, tagline is no bullshit, and they kind of came out of the the time when domain name hosting was not a very nice place to be um, and everybody tried to get whatever they could from you. Um, Gandhi lets me do pretty much everything I need to do for my clients and it's fairly easy to make use of. So once you've registered a domain name either through Gandhi or Dreamhost or Hover or the other two that I, I talk about in the document they are both decent as well. Um, I've done stuff through them both for other clients but then you have to set it up to point to your hosting. You have to get your hosting set up first, and we'll go over that in a second, but usually it's a matter of adding in these name servers. These are also publicly discoverable. Uh, I think, yep, there you go. You can find the name servers right there on a who can on a who is search. Um, but the host will either provide you name servers, which this is what actually works kind of like the telephone operator routing it, you know, in the old 40s movies, routing it to, uh, you know, where it needs to go. Um, so, yeah, once you put in the name servers from the host, what they provided you and tell the host your domain name, this should get it routed to your actual hosting site. Um, some important things about domain name practice. Um, by and large, .com is what you're going to want. This all depends you know, on how you do it and set it up, but .net and .org are supposed to be set up for um, you know, networks or organizations that are nonprofits, but that does not always, you know, that, that is never checked. So if I were doing my game company, um, 
as a search, you will be able to see here in a second if .com comes up and is available or if somebody has that. If somebody already has it, it's not likely you're going to get it away from them. Um, so you may have to go with something different. Okay, so here's mygamecompany.us, which is a U.S. top-level domain registration. You're going to have to prove you're in the United States or have a link to the United States in order to use this. Sometimes people do different things like FR, French, France um, or like CA so if your you know name of your game is you know Mechanica you could do M E C H I N M E C H A N I dot C A and that would give you this this is um, Canada of course um, and it would be 1384 but they may require you prove a link to Canada um, in order to do that um, yeah, generally, I have found it is better to do, you know, RPG.com or Game.com, you know, SilvervineGame.com or my company, RPG.com, because that is generally more accepted practice and people are just used to seeing .com as a domain name. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but that is generally a good practice. All right, once you have your domain name set up, uh, we're going to talk about hosting, and I'm going to save that for a different video.